Hi guys and welcome to Coffee with Nadi. Today I'm doing a TJ Maxx haul. I got a few things for the like for kitchen home and I actually got two toys for my niece so stay tuned. Hi guys once again Louie is joining me in the video. Um, the first thing I got were these uh, three beauty blenders and it's saying that the purple stands for calm infused with natural amethyst crystals to promote calm and peaceful thinking the blue one stands for clarity infused with natural aquamarine which i love actually that i love that stone uh, promotes clarity and balance and the pink one which is uh, oh pink one's right there it stands for love infused with natural pink quartz crystals and promote love and compassion. Do I really believe this? You guys, it's a blender. But these three blenders are $5.99, which means, I don't know if you're able to see the price, which means they're $2 a piece. So yeah, not a bad price at all. And, um, and it's made by Revive. It's a beauty blender. I, you know, it does. It should does do it. It should do its job. All right. Second thing is um, facial wipes. I use these daily, and you'll see these in a lot of hauls because when I oh, I buy these usually at uh, Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, you get biggest bang for your buck, and you get some awesome, awesome things. So this one is. Um, Made with a Dead Sea Minerals. Louis, please. Okay, he jumped off. All right, so this one was actually on sale too or on clearance for $3. And so this is made by Body Prescription. It is supports skin renewal with a low aloe vera. So with aloe. Detoxifies, removes makeup and daily, daily buildup like they all do but it has dead sea minerals and i'm a huge huge fan of anything that says dead sea i actually went to Dead sea i swam in the dead sea i did i did in israel so anyway um i will trade them out let you know if i like them but uh, just so you know found at tj maxx probably marshall's and home goods too so you know how those things are the next thing i got was a firming scrub um, I love scrubs, just to, especially in the evening, just to clean my face. I do maybe, not every day, every other day about there. Maybe sometimes a few days in a row. Whatever, whenever I feel like it. And it says espresso and coffee bean. Ding, ding, ding. Um, so I had to try that. Um, so it's uh, made by Alba Botanica right here. And it was $5.99. As a five ninety nine, so not bad for how many ounces is this? For nine ounces, that's not bad. So I'm gonna try this and see how I like that. Now the next one I really wanted to try, and it's a foaming cle facial cleanser, and it's you know with blueberries, obviously age refreshing. Yes to blueberries and chamomile to gentle cleanse. That's what it says, literally. It doesn't even make sense as a sentence, but that's what it says. So it has blueberries and chamomile. Oh, here on the back it says, blueberries, a natural source of antioxidants and great in a pie. Okay. Chamomile, a calming herbal extract, also pairs well with cucumber sandwiches. Really? I didn't know that. Mm. Anyway, that's kind of funny, I think. It was $4.99 for 5 ounces, and it has one of those kind of foam um, uh, mouthpieces. So I'm actually really excited to see how this works, because I use my Clinique usually uh, facial cleanser, but sometimes you feel like using something else. So that was that. Um, the next item is Shea Moisture is the company, and it's established in 1912. Wow. 
and it's four ounces uh it is a clarifying facial wash and scrub yes another scrub love my scrubs and it was a 5.99 for four ounces so if you compare it to my firming scrub it's kind of you know but that this is i would use this probably on my face and wherever else i feel like it you know but this is a facial scrub so yeah this is like i think this is more of all over body kind of scrub but this is a facial scrub but anyway um it looks kind of cool i it has a uh, tamarind extract and tea tree oil i'm a huge fan of tea tree oil so i thought you know what why not give it a try so i've got that and last beauty item i have is this it's made by azure Lux, and it's a rose gold peel off mask isn't that gorgeous? Look at the packaging. It has a little gold bar and the little pink roses. It was $5.99, which I thought was fabulous, for 150 ml. 150 ml is, I would say, about five, six ounces around there. So um, it has rosehip oil in there, gold, collagen, uh, sodium, Helenate, uh, vitamin C, vitamin E, and uh, aloe, all kinds of leaf uh, juice extracts. And so we will see how it will work. It does say that it has wrinkle reducing properties, which I'm in my late something 30s. And so I'm interested in this. I do want to see what it looks like inside. It is actually gold. I'm going to peel this off. It literally took jaws of life to open this little thing um, because I wanted to peel it off. I didn't. I don't like poking because you know then the outside goes inside. Anyway, so I took tweezers and slowly peeled and peeled and finally got it. And I just because I wanted to just throw in my hand to see the rose gold. And you guys to see. Oh, it's soapy, nice. So it is rose goldy, kind of. Had to wash that off. Moving on to, let's do home. Let's do home, kitchen, then toys. All right. So I had heard really good things about the Zabar Keeper's Friend. Um, I have an electric oven, which I despise. And uh, eventually we will, you know, redo our kitchen. But this is a multi-purpose cooktop cleaner. And this company has been around since 1882. That's quite impressive, I think. Um, so it was only $249, which is not bad at all. And so I got that for cleaning my stove. The next thing I got were these uh, wood markers. There are places, I have a few pieces of furniture that kind of got scuffed when we moved. And so I thought this was not a bad thing to get. It was only $3.49 and it has three shades. And it's ideal for scratches, worn edges, and surface chips. So um, I have a couch in my office actually that can kind of use this. So that's the purpose I that's the reason I really bought this so I got that then this next thing I'm kind of excited about I wanted this for a while and I got it woohoo to clean my shutters uh to clean my blinds shutters blinds same thing right anyway so it has the three sponges over here I believe they are removable aren't they yeah, they are. There's a little rubber band on there. And then a little um, brush. A little brush right here. And it was only $3.99. I didn't think it was bad. And I really wanted it. So there. I got it. And I like these guys. See? How flexible. So if you're thinner. And my, my, um, my blinds are different sizes uh, in the living room they're like the bigger ones and then in the bedrooms are the smaller ones so i thought this was pretty cool pretty awesome so that is that moving on to kitchen stuff 
my favorite, all-time favorite right now. My nails are not done. But when they are, I'm very specific about washing dishes with gloves. And testing every single possible pair of gloves on the market in different stores. and I mean, everywhere. These guys are the best. If you see them anywhere. All three, DJ Maxx, uh, Home Goods, and Marshalls, have these once in a while when they do. I literally clean them out. So if you're in my area, I recommend getting them. So I am a medium. They also come in small and large. Um, so here is why I like them. The rubber is kind of on the thicker end, but it's not that thick. Where see, I mean, it's, it's fairly pliable. Then this hand part, the, this uh, texture is an anti-grip, anti-slip texture when you're doing dishes so dishes that don't fly out which is awesome and my all-time favorite thing about this is this mesh kind of fabric cotton fabric that they have on the inside so when you're washing dishes and it's hot water and stuff it is not you know like you're like you're dragging them out you know how it is this is so awesome i love 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 these gloves Anyway, so here is the company, and by the way, they're $5.99, so if you're weird about the price, let me tell you, they will last longer than those $2.99, $3.99 pairs, so I highly recommend this, and um, True Blues, I think, is the company. It is latex-free, so if you have latex allergy, this is fabulous. It is 100% cotton liner with 100% vinyl shell. I mean, this thing, seriously, you guys, I'm not paid to review this. This is how much I love this. Things fell, that's all right. So, next few things. Here we go, we have, I bought this for Thanksgiving. This is hot cocoa peppermint. Not everyone is on keto like me, so this is for my guests, and I thought this would be really cute. For Thanksgiving, for Christmas, maybe, I don't know, whenever they feel like it. And then for my guests, not for me, uh, they're David's Cookies. Oy. David's Cookies, I love these guys when I used to eat them. <sighs> anyway, they are little thin wafer, they're like, they're thin kind of crunchy cookies with this cream in the middle. I mean, these things are delightful. Awesome, awesome. And they're $2.99, so sometimes when I see them, I'll get them for my guests because it's a nice, um, it's a nice biscuit with a tea when I serve tea, and I do that a lot. So the next item is uh, a little mug, and it is, the reason I bought it is for a friend who has issues, uh, she has a ray. So, the reason I bought something like this is because the cup is big, but it is light because it is bone china. So watch out, look for bone china in the stores. How you know it's bone china without even checking that it says bone china on here? When you look inside the cup, I don't know how it's gonna show. If you see your fingers dancing right there, if you see my fingers dancing or at, the lights might wash it out, that means it's bone china. Usually ceramic won't have that because it's more of a thicker and you know, but bone china specifically When you look through and see fingers That's bone china because I have the Royal Albert English um, is the country country rose English country rose um, Dishes and so when I was my mom got that's a wedding gift from my mom and um, my mom taught me how to find, how to look at and recognize bone china right away. And that is how you do it. You need to see your fingers through the other side. Like a shadow of them. I'm hoping it'll come through. But if not, now you know what to do. And so this is a Christmas one. And it's gnomes. Look how cute this is. They're little gnomes. And it was $4.99. So I thought it wasn't bad. But it would be perfect for tea to kind of hold like this. So I got her that. And for myself, I know you'd be like, Nadia, really? Hello, beautiful. Yes, I did. I got that for myself. It has, it's red inside. 
It's going to be very like holiday-ish for me and it's just perfect to drink coffee or tea. And so I love it. I saw it and I loved it. It's by each, uh, Kitchen Eat and it's $3.99 so not bad and it's just a cute, cute mug. Hello beautiful. I'm talking to you. All right, Nadia, knock it off. <laughs> All right, last kitchen item is Kitchen & Company Mayer Lemon Dish Soap. And it's infused with coconut oil, which is awesome. And it was a $4.99 for this 32-ounce jug. I mean, it's huge. And because it has the pump, I thought it was a good price, and I thought it was pretty, and I've been using... Uh, because I use a reusable, I bought, I think, uh, it was a nice company, but it's a glass container. It was like just a bath soap dispenser. And so I've just refilling, refilling it, refilling it. And I'm just going to, I want a little change. I won't throw it away because it's expensive. I think it's, what company is that? I'll, I'll write the company at the bottom. But anyway, regardless, moving on. We got two more things, and those are toys for my little niece. I thought this was the cutest thing on the planet because she's right now, she's two and a half, and she loves to play stores, haul things around. She loves to put things in places. She's she's a hogger. She likes to, like, put things in her purses, put things in boxes. So this is a little shopping cart, and there's a bunch of toys in there. I thought it was so cute, and it was $8, and... She'll enjoy it, and this thing pulls up. See, oh, see, it pulls up so she can roll it around. It's so cute. Wait, shh. Sorry, I'm making too much noise here. All right, that is that. And the last thing, it was a five ninety nine. And it's pretty purple dollhouse. Let me see. Oh, it's both sides. Okay, so. It's, it's a little dollhouse for her. She can put things and put it together and play with it. So I thought it was kind of cute. I'm sure her mom will enjoy putting it together. Sorry, sis, but this will be fun. All right, you guys, that is it for this haul from TJ Maxx. I enjoyed showing you all these things. And I really had a variety of different departments I kind of went into and got things from. But if you enjoy these types of videos, let me know down below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Also find me on Instagram at Coffee with Nadia. You guys have a fantastic day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.